Hello, welcome back to the Digital Flight Deck. Today is lesson number four. We've learned how to fly in the air. We've learned how to take off from the ground. Today, we're going to learn how to land. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to manage our speed and glide path, learn how to flare, touch down smoothly, and how to bring the aircraft safely to a stop. Once again, beautiful Sedona, Arizona and flying the Cessna 152. This is uh, probably the hardest part of flying, is uh, bringing her back down to the ground. Just as a reference uh, for most people, the landing speed of these small airplanes is about the same you'd be driving on a major highway in that uh, 100, 110 kilometers, 60, 65 mile an hour range. So it is uh, fairly quick as you bring it down. And uh, things happen at a rate, and they're going to keep happening that you got to go through as you get closer in. Uh, of course, the bigger the airplanes, the more powerful the airplanes, the faster that happens. So you got to get, get it down and figure out what you're doing. But it looks like we're starting in the air, and we're going to head for landing so let's jump in see what our instructor has to say my first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing in one piece the man was a terminal pessimist but he wasn't wrong today you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing we've got clearance for a straight-in approach so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern and I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. So we're high. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. So I had... You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. So I've extended my flaps all the way, pushing forward to maintain our airspeed. See if we can get her down. The uh, my throttle wasn't fully closed when we started, so that was giving a little bit more power than we should have been. But we are coming down. It looks like we're gonna make it. Everything's clear. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then, pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Gonna be a little bit short. Okay, we're past the threshold, start the flare. Back. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start climbing. There we go. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Not quite on the center line, but we're down safely. Great job. As they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. But if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, that's what we're here for, right? That's right. So we got her down safely. We we're on the runway. We're not off on the grass. We're not center line, which is where we should be. But we're learning. And we're learning how this all works. 
So it didn't quite start uh, the way it should have started. Had to come in at a pretty steep rate, but uh, we got her down. And that is how to land. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.